All right, I'm experiencing what, as of lately, has been very rare for me, a good mood. And what happens when I'm in a good mood? I decide to record stuff, so I might as well take a peek at the old form spring. Hmm, looks like I got about 80 questions. It's not too bad. Hmm. Let's get started. Vigosen asks, how did your cactus get sentient and why does it hate that pineapple? Well, I think the cactus got sentient because it was trying really hard to fit into the world of Digimon, except that it decided to do that several generations too late. It hates the pineapple because it's jealous of the pineapple's psionic abilities. Ryujin Gekujo asks, multi-part question here, what's your favorite Final Fantasy game? Who's your favorite playable character from any Final Fantasy game? And who's your favorite Final Fantasy villain? Well, my favorite Final Fantasy game is still, and probably always will be, the original Final Fantasy 1. Well, also including the enhanced remakes of it, which actually make the game much easier to play. And, well, they do kind of make it easier, too, by, you know, allowing you to save anywhere, and... Well, they actually really tone down the difficulty level, but in many ways, they actually tone down the difficulty level by fixing bugs that were present in the original version of the game. So you gotta kinda ask yourself, did they really make it easier or not? Yeah, who knows? Who cares? <laughs> Favorite playable character from any Final Fantasy game? <laughs> I think I'd have to go with Ark from Final Fantasy 3. I mean, the real Final Fantasy 3, not Final Fantasy 6. Um, just cause the the storyline that develops between him and the prince is really cool, and he's just so adorably cute, and he's shy, and oh, I just love him to pieces. <laughs> and my favorite Final Fantasy villain was also my favorite video game villain of all time from any game, and my favorite fictional villain, period, Rubicant from Final Fantasy IV. He's just awesome. Totally the most evil guy you'll ever meet, but at the same time, also the nicest guy you'll ever meet. He's evil, but he's a true gentleman. He believes in playing fair and all that good stuff. Okay, uh, got a couple of anonymous questions, but I actually think that they're all by... They're both by this user Gun Angel, because they're then followed up by more questions by the same user. You'll see. You'll see why. I'm not even going to answer them, I'm just going to read them out. <laughs> Did you hear about the guy whose whole left side was cut off? He's all right now. <laughs> Need an arc to save two of every animal? I know a guy. <laughs> What's the definition of a will? It's a dead giveaway. <laughs> Pencils could be made with erasers at both ends, but what would be the point? <laughs> oh, is it true what they say to write with a broken pencil is pointless? <laughs> and then lastly, Gun Angel asks, did you like my puns? Yes, I did. I freaking loved them. Because each one of them made me cringe just a little bit more than the last one, to the point where, if you could see my face right now, it probably resembles something along the lines of a raisin. <sighs> you know that a pun is good when it makes you die a little inside. <laughs> uh, Vigosen asks, what would you glue to a lolcat? I'd glue an anvil to it so that it wouldn't be able to go anywhere and people could stop looking at it. And people could just say, like, hey, there's a lolcat on the ground, let's... Throw stuff at it until it's dead. Uh, Vigosen asks again, what color should a lava lamp have? Well, I've seen lava lamps in many colors. The traditional is red lava with like an amber-colored liquid, and I like that. But I myself used to have a lava lamp which was white lava with a blue liquid. And I don't know if it's just because I love the color blue, but that was really my favorite. Any other color combinations? Meh. Ah, Vigosen asks, can I have your cheeseburger? Absolutely, but the world will note you did not ask where it's been. <laughs> okay, one more question for now from Vigosen. Is this a rhetorical question? Hmm. Well, this isn't a rhetorical question, but let's say that it is. <laughs> okay, uh, got two in a row from Kala Bahuai, which I probably pronounced wrong, sorry about that. So about the Easter Bunny, is it a bird, bunny, or a birdo bunny, considering it lays eggs? Actually, the Easter Bunny is an eldritch abomination, and it does produce eggs, but it doesn't lay them in the normal sense. It produces them through its urethra. Yes, the Easter Bunny is a male, and the eggs come out of its penis in a very painful process. And that's not chocolate on the inside. And Kalabalabalabala, which I already said your name, but I have no idea how to pronounce it, asks... 
Can a blind person feel blue? Feel how do you feel it? Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> it's a pun. <laughs> okay, oh, two in a row from Vigosan, first one. What does the color green taste like? Mm. It tastes kind of like seven, but with a little pinch of ineptitude. And which Pokemon do you want to put in a cardboard box? Eh, Jinx. And then I would take that cardboard box and throw it in the ocean with weights on it, so it would die. <laughs> okay, Kalaba Hawaii again asks, do you like Windows? Yeah, I like Windows. It's a good operating system. The last few versions have been pretty good. Windows 7 is solid as hell. <laughs> okay, it looks like Vigosen and Kaba Baba Baba have been having some sort of question duel here, because now we're back to Vigosen. How can you think of an unthinkable idea? You know, you really can't. It's an oxymoron. Just kind of like I remember seeing a commercial for this Yo-Yo Master video. It was, um, Tom Smothers of the Smothers Brothers was, like, selling a video for, um, what the fuck? Yeah, how to do yo-yo tricks and stuff. But at the beginning of the video, he actually had an advertisement for another video of his, which was all about the world's greatest roller coasters. And he started off the commercial by telling a little boy to... Imagine a roller coaster beyond his wildest imagination. And that right there is like, hello, that's an impossible tautology. You just told somebody to do something that cannot be done, and you defined it as not being able to be done right in the sentence. Dude, Tom, you're slipping. Got to get rid of you and bring in good old Dicky Smothers. Yeah. Okay, two in a row from Kalabahwai. You get transferred to an alternate reality where everyone on the planet is Pokemons. They want to trap you inside of a ball. What do you do? Well, I do something that Pokemon seem to very rarely do, and I use my special attacks to actually attack the humans. <laughs> it's extremely rare for the Pokemons to do that. Usually only the ones that are seen as, like, pests, like Beedrill or Ariados will do that. But I would use my fucking Hyper Beam on human. Well, first I would use, like, you know, hypnosis or sleep powder or something, put them asleep. Then I, you know, put my hand or tail or whatever the fuck I use, just like an inch from their face, I'd use a hyper beam, and then they'd be freaking vaporized to a fine red powder. Uh... You get... I think this is a repeat question. Oh, no, it's not! <laughs> you get transferred to an alternate reality where everyone on the planet is Pokemons. They want to trap you inside of a ball. What would you drink? <laughs> Oh, well, I would drink a lot of those lovely, um, proteins and carbos and zincs and HP-ups and PP-ups. Because if you look at the descriptions, they're actually drinks. It describes them as nutritious drinks, so I would be chugging that shit. I'd also probably drink some apricot juice and, you know, all sorts of yummy stuff to drink if you're a Pokemon. Okay, back to Vigosan. Hold out your hand and you will get a glove. Hold out your foot and you will get a boot. Can you give me a reason to stop giving you questions? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I mean, seriously, even if I went to do one of these videos and I saw that I just got a hundred questions all from the same person, I'd still do it. <laughs> God, I mean, I know you guys get enjoyment out of these videos, and that's really cool, so I'll keep doing them. But at the same time, I still must get some sort of enjoyment out of them because it takes a couple hours to do just one. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we're back to... Oh, it looks like this little tag team is done for now. We just got two questions in a row from Kala Bahwai, and then we're off to other people. Bobby Brown was not, but were you ready when you banged the dyke by the name of Freddy? What? 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 Is it, what? What's that? But? But? but uh, I have. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand! It's a reference and I don't get it! When I don't get a reference, it makes me feel like less of a geek! <sighs> In fact, I'm gonna go Google that right now. Dyke by the name of Freddy. Three people named Freddy Dykes. Uh, Freddy Mac, Mr. K, Bobby Brown. Oh, it's a Frank Zappa song called Bobby Brown. When I fucked that duck by the name of Freddy, she made a little speech, and my name is Bobby Brown. Watch me now, I'm going down, and my name is Bobby Brown. Ha, ah, I feel like shit for not getting that. Oh, well. Ha, ah. 
Yeah, I, I guess I really don't know that much Frank Zappa. Mm. Oh well. I know he has a son named Dweezil and a daughter named Moon Unit, but yeah, okay. And the last one from Kalaba, Hawaii. A metric fuck ton of questions later. <laughs> oh dear, you read my mind. A metric fuck ton of questions later, but are you able to pronounce my name yet? I don't think I am. I'm trying to pronounce it how I think it would be pronounced in Japanese or Polynesian, which would be Kalabahua'e. Yeah, that's the best I can do for now, sorry. Alright, an anonymous user asks, What is your opinion on Tommy Wiseau? I think that he's an incredibly crappy director, writer, and producer who takes himself way too fucking seriously. Ugh. He made a horrible movie, and... Once it got the worst reviews ever, he tried to totally change the premise and say, Hey, it is that comedy! You are picking me out, man! Oh, hi. Okay, never mind. Ah. Okay, what do we got now? We got a few in a row from Lord Franza. So, Mr. Doc Sigma, we beat again. What if I was your arch nemesis? How would you defeat me? I should tell you I am almost immortal. Oh, dear. Um... Well, mm. that's a little tricky. I would defeat you by getting everyone in the world to just completely ignore your existence and pretend you didn't exist. That would cause you to pretty much have to live in isolation and sadness and loneliness until you eventually just died of old age or died or because nobody believed in you anymore. Kind of like, um, I remember this made-for-TV movie on one of the major networks. It was about a wizard and a witch, and the witch was all evil and stuff, and in the end, the wizard defeated the witch by getting everyone to simply ignore her, and when no one paid attention to her anymore, she lost all her powers and died. Know, something like that. Okay, still with Lord Frunzer here. Mr. Doc Sigma, if you had a lolly, how would you eat it? Oh, by the way, it's a lollipop, not a lolly. Oh, you! <laughs> well, I try to lick lollipops, or at least suck on them, but I will always find myself trying to bite them. And if I can just get a good bite in, I will bite them. And then sometimes I'll suck on the little individual pieces, but sometimes I'll just chomp them down. I have a problem with that. I mean, I have a problem with something that, you know, is designed to take a long time to eat. Like chewing bubblegum. I'll chew it a few times, and then when I feel that the taste is on its way out, I swallow it. Yeah, I've probably got a big bolus of bubblegum in my stomach. Uh, no, that's actually not true. The whole seven-year thing isn't true, but you guys knew that. <laughs> ah! The Grim Reaper come at you with his scythe raised, about to strike you. Is it your time to die, or will you dodge out of the way? I will not dodge out of the way, but I won't let him strike me, or I'll throw up my hands and say, Stop! Stop. If you've come to see me, then it's clearly my time. Let us depart from the world of life to the world of the afterlife as friends. And I would take the Grim Reaper by the hand, and as friends we would walk together into the world of being dead. Yeah, I don't fear death. Yeah, what can I say, you know? If the Grim Reaper comes for me, he's, um, he's not gonna have to fight me. I'm not gonna put up any resistance. <laughs> I, plan on de I plan on departing this world as being buddies with death. Which was why when I read that story um, in the seventh Harry Potter book, there were, the, there were the three brothers there, and the third one had the invisibility cloak and he hid from death for so long, and eventually they, you know, they left together as friends. I kind of sent a chill down my spine, because that's always how I felt. <laughs> anyway! Uh, last one from Lord Friends, at least for now. Last question! You are suddenly surrounded by zombies. You have a pet bunny in a cage running frantic around. What will you do? Kill the zombies with the bunny or run away leaving the bunny to die? Well, it looks like either way the bunny is fucked. So I might as well use the bunny to kill the zombies. That way I don't have to run. Pretty simple solution there. Kind of a sad one, but I think the other one's even sadder because I wouldn't know that the bunny died. I would assume it, but I wouldn't know it for a fact. Dragon is continuing our story that's been going on for many videos. Continuing forth, the other rabbits like your hat. A little too much, actually. I want the hat. No, I do. Me, me. They all start charging at you. It's a game of capture the flag, and the flag is the hat on your little head. What do you do? Well, I'm not particularly attached to the hat. So, hmm, I have a couple of ideas. I grab the hat. Um, can I grab the hat? Yeah, I grab the hat and hold it up and say, May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? 
I am going to give this hat away to somebody. Who wants it? Let's see what happens now. <laughs> Nether Tribe says, Suddenly a lolly hugs you. Oh, thanks, Nether. You're the best. I feel all warm and happy inside now. <sighs> oh, no. <sighs> okay, an anonymous user asks, so, Doc, you're in the mountains somewhere. You stumble upon a mansion. You walk in. You hear barking sounds outside. You see blood. What do you say? And also, let his work begin. Yeah, like for my videos. There we go. <laughs> well, um, I don't think I say anything. I think I try to stay as quiet as I can because I'm in the house now and the barking is outside. So I'm going to try to stay inside and maybe get to a window so I can see what's going on. But at the very least, I'm going to try to lay low so that they don't know that I'm in here so I can hide. As for the blood, meh. And Anonymous User asks, what kind of doctor are you, anyway? Hmm. I'm a nuclear proctologist. Yes, I shove lasers up people's BAMS. <laughs> no, I'm not a doctor. I just play one on the internet. And Anonymous User asks, do you have any advice against procrastination? Unfortunately, I do not. That's one of my biggest flaws. I'm a huge procrastinator. It's gotten me into some tight spots in the past. Are very hard to get out of. Oh. Killer Spawn asks, BAM! The main six from My Little Pony are in your house. What do you do? And on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? Oh god, I'm, a, I'm an 11. And what do I do? I hang out with them. I ask them what they want to do. You know, we have fun. We have a party. Um, I, you know, fall asleep cuddling with Fluttershy while Twilight Sparkle reads a book and Pinkie Pie goes and has a party and... Uh, Fucking, I don't know, Applejack goes and eats apples, Rainbow Dash goes flying around, and Rarity looks at herself in the mirror. I don't know, we have fun! <laughs> ah. Sukento asks, I'm thinking of streaming some Vidya games during the weekend. Up for taking suggestions. Few rules. Can't be 360 slash PS3, don't own them. N64, controllers busted. PC, poor comp would chug along slowly. Or DS slash PSP, from Nest to Wii is fine, SRGB errors. There's a hack of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the NES where all the boxers are naked. It's called Nude Punch-Out, and that's what you should do. It's the best game ever. <laughs> Lazy Man T asks, so since Dark Souls is going to be on the 360 as well as the PS3, are you going to get it? We could die together. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, I heard a lot of great things about Demon's Souls. I never got it because I didn't have a PS3, naturally. But yeah, Dark Souls is going to be on the 360 also. I do plan on getting it at some point, but... I think I'm going to wait until it's been out for a little while just to make sure all the kinks have been ironed up with the online play and all that nonsense. But yeah, it seems like a hell of a lot of fun. Okay, we got a three in a row by Kovu88. So, how are you? Oh, I'm doing fine, thanks. How are you? I'm actually a little nervous and shaky right now, but not too much. There's been a lot of crap going on in my life lately. A lot of, lot of, lot of bad stuff. But now I think the bad stuff is starting to move past, but in its place isn't really good stuff so much as there is nerve-wracking you know, stuff that's making me very nervous. I'll tell all about it at some point, but unfortunately that may not be for a month or more. I mean, it could be in a day, but I doubt it, but it could be a month or more. Trust, trust me, you guys will know as soon as I can tell you. Do you have a favorite sport, or watch any sport? Um, yeah, I do actually enjoy football, believe it or not. Uh, I actually used to be a big uh, New York Jets fan, but around... I became a Patriots fan uh, several years ago. I don't know what it was exactly that made me switch my allegiances like that. But um, other than that, I'm also a huge hockey fan, particularly college hockey. I just like college hockey more. Because it seems to be more energetic, and like they put more into it or something. Um, what other sports do I watch? Um, I like listening to baseball on the radio. Especially on like a nice summer evening, I'll curl up in bed and turn on baseball on the radio. It's a nice thing to go to sleep to. And I know that makes it sound like, oh, it's so boring, you go to sleep. Yeah, I know, but I think that if something is able to like lull you into a nice peaceful sleep, that's a compliment, you know what I mean? Yeah, there we go. 
Ever heard of the anime Sergeant Frog or heard of Deadpool? Yes, I've heard of them both. <laughs> okay, we got to see a lot of yellow smiley faces, so we got a bunch in a row from Roleplay Humor. Would you ever LP a newer game in a million years? Sure! I just gotta find one that I wanna do. I just haven't really found any newer games I'd be interested in LPing because... Two things. You, first of all, they usually just don't interest me. Or second of all, they've already been done. And I really don't like doing a game that's been done, or at least not one that's been done to death, but I mean, if it's a... If it's a, you know, particularly modern game, like less than a couple years old, then it's probably already been LP'd. You know what I'm saying? And if it's a really popular game, it's probably as LP the day it came out. But anyway... Have you ever heard of MySpace slash text role-playing? Though MySpace is now a dead site, thus no role-playing goes on there anymore. Sure! I've heard of, yeah, of course, online role-playing. People do it on Twitter, even. I used to follow a whole bunch of, maybe dozens of Twitter accounts that were role-playing accounts for various Pokémon... ...and Pokémon characters. And then I started following a bunch of accounts that were people RPing various anime characters. And unfortunately, I found both of those to just be extremely boring, so I stopped following them. Just not my thing, I guess. Oh well. I have 666 videos on my channel now. Is my channel evil until I upload another video or YouTube takes one off? Ah, <sighs> nah, dog. It's not evil. 666 is just the number of C's or Nero. The actual number of the beast is 616. They got the math wrong. So Iron Maiden must feel really stupid now. <laughs> Did you hear of the Battleship movie? Did you lol or sigh? Yes, I've heard of it. When I heard that they were making it, I lolled because I just assumed that it was going to be kind of like an over-the-top, ridiculous farce-type movie, like the Postal movie that was made based on the game Postal. That was just going to be a ridiculous pastiche type thing. But then I saw the goddamn trailer. They are taking this Battleship movie completely fucking seriously. And I sighed and sighed and sighed. And then when I was done sighing, I sighed some more. Is it just me, or does Rebecca Black's Friday sound like a horrible attempt to remake a certain The Cure song? Likely just my imagination. Hmm. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. You come and go, you come and go. Loving you is easy if your colors were like my dreams. I see my friends. I'm a chameleon. You always come and go. I'm a chameleon. Colors like my dreams. It's karma, chameleon, gotta get down with karma. Everyone's looking forward to that karma, chameleon. Party and party and yeah, colors change like my dreams, yeah. Fun, fun, never mind. <sighs> there are zombies all around. Closer they creep as they ride on their exploding pogo sticks. All the while, Jason is behind you with a nicely sharpened machete. You have nothing to defend yourself but a cupcake. Does an apple a day keep the doctor away? <laughs> oh dear, um... <laughs> well, since that's a silly question, it's gonna get a somewhat serious answer. I mean, the whole thing about an apple a day keeping the doctor away, there's actually more truth to that than they may have even realized at the time they came up with the adage, because apples are highly nutritious and they contain large amounts of pectin in the skin. If you peel your apple before eating it, you're getting rid of approximately 98% of the nutrients. So if you're only going to eat part of the apple, then instead of just eating the flesh, you should just eat the skin. Oh, and don't eat the seeds. They contain, um, people say that the apple seeds contain cyanide, and that is true, but, and it's a big but, it's actually not the kind of cyanide that kills you. It's the kind of cyanide that can make you sick. But even then, you'd have to have such massive amounts of apple seeds that it's really not a problem. I think you'd have to eat something like the equivalent of two pounds of apple seeds to get enough cyanide. But yeah, that whole Dr. Oz apple cyanide thing, don't worry about it, but still don't eat apple seeds. They're icky. Do you watch Doctor Who? Uh, I get that question a lot. Surprisingly, I don't watch Doctor Who. And I say surprisingly because it seems like the kind of show I would like. But I watched an episode of it, and, you know, the show's been on, like, for over 40 years, so I just had no clue what the hell was going on. It seems like a difficult show to jump into. Like, maybe if there's some sort of recommendation for 
hey, you know, watch these episodes, or, you know, read this webpage, and then you'll be able to jump into the show, then I'd appreciate something like that, but otherwise, it's just, it seems like there's too much backstory. I mean, they're on, what, like the 11th Doctor now? I mean, back when I used to think of Doctor Who, I used to think of a bloke with a, a long brown coat and this really long rainbow-colored scar. I mean, wasn't that Doctor Who? I don't, I don't know, now he's just some skinny dude. Anyway. I know Hiyame, an associate of mine, will hear this, but I tried to watch the first two episodes of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, then I watched another episode, then another, then another. Am I now a brony? Yes, you are a brony! One of us! One of us! One of us! <laughs> Last question. Do you plan on watching any scary movies all month for Halloween? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. I think I'm gonna dig out uh, The Shining, which is my favorite horror movie, and... One of the only horror movies that truly scares me, even to this day. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of anything. I usually watch The Shining on Halloween. And... I, I used to watch Halloween on Halloween. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, but... Yeah, because uh, one of my local networks used to show uh, the original Halloween on Halloween. So, yeah, there you go. An anonymous user asks, Have you ever been in love with mac and cheese? Oh, I am in love with mac and cheese. In fact, I would marry mac and cheese if that were legal in my jurisdiction. But sadly, we live in a time where, you know, a man can have consensual love for macaroni and cheese, and macaroni and cheese can have consensual love for a man, but our consensual love isn't good enough that we can get married. A marriage could only be one man and one woman, or one woman and one man, or one man and one man, or one woman and one woman, but it can't be one man and one mac and cheese? What the fucking hell, people? This is 2011. Get with the times. <sighs> and Anonymous User asks, How old is Doc Sigma these days? I am 31 years old. And my birthday is July 2nd, so... I am 31 years... August, September, October. 31 years, 3 months, and 2 days. There we go. Digital or analog? Hmm, since that's a very vague question, I'm going to change it a little. Digital Man by Rush, or The Analog Kid by Rush? The Analog Kid is my preferred song. You move me, you move me, with your buildings and your eyes, out of moons and with skies. You move me, you move me, your fancy and city light. Anyway, an anonymous user asks, your Bulbasaur evolved into a Penisaur, what do? I give it a nice neck massage and see if it produces any special Penisaur custard for me, which I then proceed to eat. Mmm, delicious Penisaur custard. Ha, ah, Dresky asks, Oh, okay, those last three questions were me, forgot to log in. Oh, okay, cool. If you were in a video game, what powers would you like to have? Okay, um... I would have a staff-like weapon, probably like a walking stick, which I could swing, you know, like a staff-like weapon, similar to Donatello and his bow from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I'd also, through some ridiculous fashion, be able to spin it around over my head really fast to allow me to fly for short periods of time. Yes, I've given this a lot of thought. Oh, and I could throw it like a boomerang, too. Yes, I've given this a stupidly large amount of thought. Okay, we've got a bunch in a row by Drusky. Did I mention that already? I forget. Ah, where were we? Okay, can I have a hug? Oh, of course, dude, you can have a hug. Mm, big bro hug for you. Okay, you're asking me here, um, Carmel or Caramel? Oh god, I gotta think of that for a second. With my accent, I pronounce it Caramel. I'd like a Caramel milkshake. I'd like a, I'd like a sun, I'd like, um, some vanilla ice cream with Caramel sauce. I'd like to buy some chewy Caramels. So I guess... It would be closer to caramel, but, you know, with my, um, Boston accent, the R, the R sound tends to drop out in the middle of syllables, so I pronounce it caramel. I remember once, oh, many, many years ago, when I was in Missouri visiting my girlfriend at the time, I, um, we were, uh, me and her and her mother were in a Walmart, I think, shopping for something. And I saw a keyboard that looked very similar to one I had at home, and I said, Hey, that's just like Oz! And she said, 
don't you mean, and the mother said, don't you mean ours? She was like, you know, correcting, she was, she said it in a very facetious way, but she was like, you know, correcting my accent, my pronunciation, because I said, you know, that's ours. I mean, in context, it was obvious that I was saying ours, O-U-R-S, whatever, moving along. Drusky asks, derp. To which I reply, derp, 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 herpa, derp, 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 herpa, derp, 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 herpa, derp, derp, derp. As I herp through this derp, nothing can herp a herp a derp. Okay, yeah. So I beat time so what do I do now? Oh dear, um... Well, congratulations on beating a very difficult game. Very fun game, but very difficult. Now, um... Play it again and see if you can do it without using safe states. <laughs> Taco or burrito? Well, if it's a hard taco, then taco loses automatically and burrito wins. If it's a soft taco, then it would have to be an amazingly good soft taco to beat even an average burrito for me. I just like burritos better because they're more contained and it's less messy. And they're more tube-shaped. What's the dumbest game you played? Not hard, not bad, dumbest. Okay, yeah, dumbest, dumbest. Mmm... Hmm. I'm gonna have to say Hong Kong 97. That It's hard and bad, but it's also just extremely dumb. I can't really say I'm playing it any better except that you have to look at it. Just look for a video of it, look for Rob, it's for the Super Nintendo. It was one of the very last games released for the Super Nintendo, I believe. And one of the things I love about it is that on the screen past the title screen, the company actually has a message saying, like, you know, if you've developed a game, send it to us, and if we like it, we'll publish it and pay you cash. And when you see the quality of the game, it's actually saying that message, it's just like, no, thank you, guys. What would the best cup of coffee have in it? Aha! Trick question! The best cup of coffee would not have coffee in it at all. It would be filled with gold, which I could then sell for massive amounts of cash. What is love? Maybe don't hurt me, maybe don't hurt me. No, no, love is a series of chemical reactions in the brain which tell you that you really cannot live without a certain person, or at least don't even want to think about it. Yeah, it's chemicals, pheromones, all that shit. <laughs> Favorite Sonic character? Oh boy, um... Uh, I'm gonna have to say Dr. Robotnik, actually. Or Dr. Eggman, as he's known nowadays. It's just, I love his attitude, you know, and I love I love the way his relationship with Sonic has kind of evolved over the years, to the point where, even though they're, you know, arch-nemeses, arch they also seem to have kind of a respect for each other. They kind of seem to like challenging each other and, like, one-upping each other. And there have even been times when they've teamed up together to fight a greater evil. It's probably the same reason that, that Bowser is my favorite character in the Mario universe. Unless you count Wario, then he wins, because I fucking love Wario. What is your favorite episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? Uh... uh let me... Th God, there's so many good ones. Um... <laughs> hmm... Damn, son, that's a tough question. I know it's terribly generic to say so, but I love Winter Wrap-Up. I love the song, I love the episode, I love that we get massive amounts of derpy hooves. Yeah. Ever go to GameStop? Oh, well, I used to go there all the bloody time. I used to buy a lot of games from there. I haven't been in a while just because I haven't bought any new games lately, at least not in terms of physical games. You see me in dire peril, what do? Well, I save you! <laughs> Obviously. Unless I can't. <laughs> Favorite RPG weapon? Well, if by RPG you mean rocket-propelled grenade, then that would be a rocket-propelled grenade launcher, but I assume you mean role-playing game. Does that include action RPGs? If so, then I'd have to say the Sword of Gaia from Landstalker. Once its special meter fills up, you just swing your sword and an earthquake happens. For several seconds, everything freezes and rocks fall from the screen and everything on the screen takes damage. 
And if you combine that with a special equipable item that triples the rate at which your special meter increases, then you can literally just walk up to the final boss, and swing your sword at him a few times, and he's dead without him even having a chance to attack. Now, if action RPGs do not count, then I'm going to have to go with the Chaos Breaker from Shining Force 1. It's the holy sword from the game. It looks like a lightsaber. I mean, it really looks like it's a green laser sword. It's extremely powerful, and when used as an item in battle, it casts, I believe, uh, Freeze Level 3. And since it's a key item, there's no chance of it breaking, so you can pretty much use it as much as you want. I don't remember if it's Freeze Level 2 or Freeze Level 3, but either way, it's bloody awesome, and it's something that people often overlook. Are you loosened up yet? Yes, I am loosened up quite a bit, thank you. Um, not enough, though. <laughs> I've got some shit going on on Tuesday that makes me a little nervous, and some shit going on on Thursday and Friday that makes me quite a bit nervous. But once those are over, I'll be all cool again. <laughs> but I poop from there! To which I reply, not right now, you don't. <laughs> mm. Two more, at least for now, from Dresky. Is it raining? Actually, looking out my window, I can't tell because that window is blocked and those two windows are closed, but listening, I can clearly hear the rain. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, sea man. Amen. Okay, last one from Dresky for now. If you were stranded on a deserted island for one month with no internet, would you go crazy? Honestly, no. Because I would pretty much just spend most of my time sleeping. I think I could honestly go into a semi-hibernation-like state for a month where the only times I would wake up would be to eat or drink or go to the bathroom. I really think I could do that, and I'd like to somehow be challenged to do that. <laughs> mm. Two questions in a row from... Uh, damn it, Christian, that seem to be the same? I'm trying to figure out what's different about it. Oh, okay, here we go. What's the most physically painful thing you've ever had to do? Hmm. Had to do? So I guess that wouldn't include, like, accidental injuries and stuff. I'd have to say getting my wisdom teeth removed. I mean, I had all four of my wisdom teeth removed under general sedation in an oral surgeon's office, but the recovery was extremely painful. Yeah, I was taking a lot of pain pills, and even then it was still extremely painful, and it was long, and... For the first couple of weeks, the only the only food I was able to consume was water and those Slim Fast Diet milkshakes. <sighs> What's the most emotionally painful thing you've ever had to do? Uh, telling my ex-girlfriend that I could never speak to her again. Yeah, because after we broke up, we stayed friends for a while, but then I realized that our friendship was poisoning me, so I had to break off all contact. It sucked, but it was for the best for me. Okay, we got... One, two, three, four in a row from the Nards of Doom. Hey, Doc, how do you deal with those pesky trouser snakes? Well, I go to the bathroom and I pet the trouser snake until it's no longer excited, and then I don't have to deal with it anymore. <laughs> hey, Doc, what do you do if you were trapped in a room with a zombie lolly and a vampire lolly? Oh, the good normal vampires, not the horrible Twilight ones. Well, there's the thing, I would allow the vampire lolly to bite me, thus turning me into a vampire who was under her command. And then the two of us together would team up and defeat the zombie lolly. And then I would live out the rest of my immortal days as the vassal of the vampire lolly. And I really think that would not be a bad life for me. I think I could enjoy being the servant of a vampire lolly. I really do. Hey, Doc, which weapon from this list would you choose to survive a zombie invasion for 30 minutes, and why? Here is the list of available weapons. A shotgun, 15 rounds. Pistol, 30 rounds. Rifle, 20 rounds. TMP, 50 rounds. Or Magnum, 10 rounds. I actually don't know what TMP is, so I'm going to have to Google that. The miniatures page. T T Tacoma Musical Playhouse. Uh... Thiamidine monophosphate, uh, template, metaprogramming, tab mix plus. Oh, it's a machine pistol made by Steyr Monlifer. Oh, 
It's a handgun style, often magazine fed, self loading firearm. That's the one I'm taking. That's the one I'm taking. The TMP, it's, a, it's like a fully automatic handgun. That's what I'm taking. Hmm, <laughs> beautiful. And I'm taking that because it has the most ammunition. And with good aim, you know, you could probably take out a zombie in one hit. Just shoot them in such a way that the brain no longer exists and the zombie is no longer a threat. Hey, Doc, what is your favorite underrated game that does deserve more love? I'm going to say Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. People always look at it as like the dark horse of the Zelda franchise and that it's so different. But those people weren't around when it first came out. I mean, I was. And when it first came out, it was the sequel to The Legend of Zelda. It was only the second game in the series, so we didn't have any reason to expect the game to be the same overhead style as the original one. In fact, if Zelda 2 had been like an, orig like an overhead style like the original one, at the time, people probably would have complained that it was too similar. You know what I'm saying there, boys? But yeah, I mean, even if Zelda 2 was just a horrible terrible rip-off, you know, palette swap of Evil Dead, but that's another story. Oh, yes, made a reference. Oh, we're getting near the end. Wow, okay. Uh, oh, dear. Um, Sorvar Spar, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. If you had to pick between any of these sorts of teachers to be and to have as your own, which would you pick? Why is optional. A. Onizuka from GTO. B. Kimura Sensei from Azumanga Daio. C. Nanko from Lucky Star. D. Stein from Soul Eater. E. Someone else who? I'd pick Kimura Sensei because in the very few times we've seen him, you know, genuinely teaching and not just, you know, being Kimura Sensei, he seems like a good teacher. And besides the fact that he's an Ephebophile, not a pedophile, an Ephebophile is a difference, look it up. When he's not being that, he's a pretty swell dude. Like, I mean, he gives to charity and. He's good at, you know, organizing stuff, and he just seems like a good teacher. And plus, I could possibly, you know, stay after school and do, you know, extracurricular activities with him, and we could maybe hook up together and get some high school girls. I think I'm gonna go to the next question now. Uh, barring him, Stein from Soul Eater, because he keeps ass. <laughs> I, love Soul, I love Soul Eater. Just got into that recently. An anonymous user asks, Would you ever consider to do some coning? If you haven't heard of it, it consists of ordering an ice cream at a drive-thru and grabbing it by the cream instead of the cone. Oh, dear, that's really a thing? I saw a video of that, but I just thought it was just some bozo just being a smartass. That's actually a thing? Good lord, people really do that? Well, I'd have to say no, because it's... First of all, it sounds stupid. Second of all, if it's been done so often that it's actually a thing, then that must mean that it's been done so often that it's actually a thing, and therefore, what would be the point of doing it? It wouldn't be fresh and new. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be impressing anyone. And C, and this might be the most important part, I don't drive, so when we're at a drive through I cannot be the one to grab the food. Yeah, that's going to be my excuse right there. <laughs> okay. Yay, just three questions left. One, two, three. And Anonymous User asks, Sigh. I was going to ask you something, but I forgot what it was. Bleep, 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 bleep. What the fuck? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that anonymous user has exploded. Bear no mind. Tattooed Yoshi asks, So I hear you like bad puns, eh? Might I suggest checking out a user on YouTube known as Chugga Conroy? Hmm, okay, I'll have to check him out sometime. Thanks for the recommendation. And the last question, it is the form spring question of the day! Who is the last friend you made? Oh god, the last friend I made? Who is the last friend I made? <sighs> Dear. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Think harder, Homer. I actually have no idea. <laughs> and on that note, that wraps up this week's Form Spring Questions. <laughs> thank you for asking them, and it says I have... No, it doesn't. Never mind. I can't read, but thank you very much for asking them. Keep them coming. You know I love them. I must love them. Otherwise, I wouldn't do this insanity. www.formspring.me slash DocSigma. You ask your question, and there's a 99.9999% chance it will be answered on video. Yay! Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Cheers!